Hey, Karen Blocks, I'm artist here today, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about a deal I'm doing at the moment where you can get a canvas print for a really awesome price. I normally sell them for 125 so I thought I'd let you know just this month for the next couple of days only. It is going to be $75 including shipping to your door if you're in New Zealand. Some of you may have heard about this already so um, but I just thought I'd reiterate that if you share either this video or the post I did previously which shows all the canvases with your friends as long as you make it public and I can see it um, then I put you in the deal to win a canvas post I mean a canvas print so um, that's the deal I'm doing this month it's the first time I've ever done it first time I've ever given away canvases and um, I hope you're really awesome and blessed by it so I thought I'd just go through and show you just the different canvases I'm selling this month there's just 12 of them and let you know a little bit about them and um, yeah so the first one is a Tui this Tui is a photo I took absolutely love it I love how the background just kind of blurs out um, so that's number one number two is a fantail I photographed this in Arthur's Pass in the South Island and I have this one on my wall and I just makes me happy whenever I see it number three is a mirror and foal I painted these ones in watercolor and um, I just love the light that came behind them and it's actually my husband's favorite painting of mine it's on, on the wall at the moment and yeah I did that one was pretty happy with that and there's also a mare and foal as zebras so I uh, photographed two zebras at the zoo changed it just a little bit and it's really happy with the end result so I've got those two I've actually been to Africa saw so many zebras and such wildlife and I really enjoyed painting these ones and I did a tiger in oils um, this one I kind of made the background so that looks like you know a grassy habitat where it might live I actually photographed it at the zoo but I changed the background just to fit in with the tiger that I painted and I've done a tiger in watercolors I just love painting tigers and um, this tiger in watercolors was one of my favorite paintings when I was studying watercolor it's one that turned out so well I'm so pleased with it and um, that one also I have on my wall because I love it so much the original sold but I do prints so that's that one and Misty Morning I was photographing um, this when I I just went up north one day really early I wanted to go snorkeling for the day went out before the traffic before the dawn and as the dawn was um, appearing and the sun was rising I caught this picture of the mist just rising over some farmland and I photographed it and I painted it a few years later and really happy with the result um, the original is gone but again we've got prints available and chooks and barn this one also sold but um, it's done a watercolor and I was just pretty happy with the result I tried to do it really quickly just to kind of get that kind of loose feel to it so it's not so detailed on every single aspect and um, yeah I just love how things fade into the distance and the background and then I have Karaka Bay I painted this at art school with Graham Braddock and it is just a, one of the many beautiful sunsets you see when you're on Great Barrier Island at Karaka Bay looking out um, across the water so painted that one was super happy with that and then we have Matheson um, this is Matheson it's the lake it's near Fox Glacier in the South Island and probably one of my favorite places to go and I painted a watercolor behind it and then I just put all my details on top and changed anything I wanted with the chalk pastel and that's one thing I really love doing I also did that exact same thing with the bush walk around Matheson there's this beautiful walk you can go on really easy maybe I don't know if it'll be a half an hour or an hour um, obviously I take longer because I take photos and enjoy the scenery if you do it by at dawn it's just amazing and you get all these reflections on the lake but the bush around it is stunning and um I just love New Zealand bush so much so I painted this scene and I did it in watercolor and chalk pastel and the thing I love most about watercolor and chalk pastel is I can do a terrible watercolor I'm talking really bad um, watercolor and then I can just fix it with chalk pastel put in all my details and come up with something I really love so um, yeah it's really fun to do I'll show you my this is my terrible watercolor and this is my finished result and I just really can bring it all to life really and then I have Whangarei waterfall and this is another 
one that's watercolour with chalk pastel, so the actual waterfall was fine with watercolour. It looked awesome, so I pretty much didn't change it. But um, a lot of my trees, I just put in the dark colours, and then I put the light colours over the top, and all the details with chalk pastel. Really happy with this one. And um, if anybody actually wants this one, but you don't want the bridge in it, you just want a waterfall with beautiful bush around it, I can actually digitally remove that bridge. So if that's something you really want, let me know ASAP. I'll hold the deal for you. Um, if you tell me that you'd like that by the end of the month. So those are the canvases I have. Actually, um, this one behind me, I've never shown this to anybody before. Um, it's not been on my Facebook page. I haven't actually photographed it. But um, this one is Lake Matheson. Just my favorite, one of my favorite places. So I thought I really want to have this in my home. And it took me over a year and a half to paint. I started it, it was really hard. Um, it's got these reflections. Um, I wasn't happy with the reflections, they weren't right. So in the end, I redid the reflections until I was happy. And I took an entire, another week to um, paint all of this. So I went on holiday for a week and every day I was painting for hours a day just because we were on a farm, my little boy was happy and we, um, I just had the opportunity to do that whenever he had a nap or he was sleeping I'd be painting if he was out exploring with dad I'd be painting so um, yeah I finished that one off and I'm really happy with it so that one at some point will be up um, unfortunately it's not a canvas print at the moment because of the aspect ratio I can do a three kind of long kind of canvas prints but I can't do that kind of slightly more rectangular shorter one so um, I'll be looking into how to do that at some point if people really want prints of that um, so yeah, your chance to win. If you would like one of these canvases, and I really hope you are really excited about who's going to win that, um, then share this video. Make sure it is public, because if it's not, I cannot see who's shared it. Um, and if you make it public, then I'll know, and I can just see that you've done it really easily. And then they can share it if they really want to. So um, share that post. I'll put your name in the drawer. We're going to be drawing that on the 2nd of June. So it just gives an, a day for me to get that all organized. And then um, make sure if you really love these videos, if you want to see art that I've not shown to other people or you don't want to miss out on special awesome deals um, like ones that I'll be running in the future, then just, you know, like my page, Karen Bloxham Artists on Facebook, check your notification settings and just make sure that it's going to notify you when I post because automatically Facebook will not notify you when I post things. Um, so you might miss out if you haven't checked your settings. And um, you can also check out YouTube. I'm actually just starting a YouTube channel. So it's um, just look up Karen Bloxham and you'll find that I've got a channel there. One of the paintings, one of the um, ones on there is my son painting paintings for half an hour long, but um, I'm just gonna be slowly adding to that. So you could get, and make sure you just tick the bell so you get notified when that um, has new paintings in there or new, um, you know, how-to videos or speed paintings is going to be something I'm going to be doing there soon. So, yeah, and also if you're on Instagram, I'm on Instagram as Karen Bloxham Artist um, dot art. Karen Bloxham dot art is my um, username. So just check that out. I post pretty much every day um, during the week. So there's just new paintings going up there all the time, which I post a little bit less frequently to Facebook. So if you really love it, just, you know, go in there and I, I give tips. I tell people how I do things a little bit and you know, give you a bit of value, and especially if you're a little bit arty or you wish you could be or anything like that, then I hope that's a blessing to you. Um, yeah, so um, also if you buy a canvas this month for the 75 New Zealand dollars, then I'm going to put you in a draw to win another canvas. So I'm giving away two canvases, one to those who share either this video or my latest post, which had, you know, the whole pictures of all the, you know, it explains the competition in that one. So this one or that post and um, you're going to win. But if you buy one, you're also into win another one. So far, I think three people are in that drawer. So you've got really high chances of winning if you buy. And um, if you share, you've got pretty high chances of winning too. I think it's, you know, it might be 30 people, less than 30 people who have shared that. So you've got really high chances. And yeah, I'm excited. I'll be doing a Facebook Live in order to draw. Um, the winner. I've never done a Facebook Live before, so let's hope it works. Um, that'll be kind of exciting. So yeah, um, stay tuned and I'll let you know if you win.
Bye.